Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. Now in this video we'll talk about binary formats. In fact not just binary, we'll talk about different number systems. Normally when you work in the programming world we work with binary formats and we, we, we work with decimal system. So in the programming world we use a binary system and a decimal system. But apart from this we have two more systems which is octal and hexadecimal. Now when do we use all this stuff? So in the networking field we use MAC address right which is normally defined in hexadecimal format. Same goes for IPv6 which is defined in hexadecimal format. In your computer we use binary format. In, in normal system we use decimal system. So let's understand how do we convert these values from one system to other system. Now of course you can do it on paper and you can or you can do it in a, in a software or we use it with the help of codes. Now before understanding how do you convert this using Python, let's try it on paper first. You know, we can, in fact we can do it. So if I open my IDLE, uh, you can convert a number from decimal to binary format. Example, if I, if I want to convert a number, let's say 25. So we have this number 25, I want to convert this into a binary format. Now, I don't know how many people of you, how many of you know how to convert a number into binary format. So people who are very beginner to the programming world, they might not be knowing it. And if you have experience, that's great. Now, if you don't know how binary format works, I would recommend you to go and watch some videos on binary format or we'll try to do some in this video. Let's say I want to convert this. We can use a function called as bin. So using bin function, we can convert a number from decimal system to binary system. Now when you say decimal system, it means the base of the system is 10. And in binary system, the base is 2. Which means in decimal system, we can go from 0 to 9. So we have 10 digits. In binary system, we can go from 0 to 1, 2 digits. And that's why we say it's bits, binary digits, right? Uh, so we have binary format there. In fact, we have octal system where we have 8 digits. So it starts with 0 and it ends at 7. On the other hand, we have hexadecimal system where we have 16 as a base. Now it starts with 0, it goes till 9 and after 9 it goes from A to F. So in total we have 16. So now let's come back from decimal to binary. We'll click on enter. You can see this is your binary format. It's so simple. You just need to use a bin function and in bracket you have to pass 25. But hold down. How do you convert this number? And even if you, so even if you get this output, how do you know this is a, this is a correct output? So let me just take some time to explain you how to convert a number from a decimal system to a binary system. So for that, let me open my paint. So let's try to understand how it works. So let's say we have a number 25. So we'll go for a number 25 here. And if I want to find a decimal for a binary format of this 25, what do we do is you have to divide this number by two. So whatever system you have. So example, if you want to convert from decimal to octal, decimal to hexadecimal system, you have to divide, divide you have to divide this number by that system. So example here, I want to, I want to find binary format. So I will divide this by two. Now everyone knows, right? So it is two into 12, you will get 24. So the remainder is one. So when you say two into 12, we got 20, 24 and the remainder is one. You have to continue this. So you have to say two, you will get six. So two into six, you will get 12. So the remainder is zero. Then we have two into three. The remainder is zero again. And then we got two into one, which is the remainder is one in this case because two into one is two and then three minus two is one. Now this is your numbers, you know. So this is your binary format. So this is how you convert from decimal to binary format. But how do we read this? So we have to read this in a reverse order. So you have to start from this end and you have to go to top. So which is, in this case, this is one. Then we have this is one, zero, zero, one. So this is a binary format of 25. So this is how you, this is how you convert a number from decimal system to binary, binary format. It's so simple. Let me just go back to the IDLE here. And here what I will do is, so this, you can see the number here. We got one, one, zero, zero, one, the same number. But what is before that? You can see we got zero and B. That's how you represent a binary format. So if you want to say there's a number which is one, one, zero, zero, one, and you might be thinking if you got this number, this may be decimal, right? So to specify that, hey, this is not a decimal number, we will use zero B, okay? That's very important. In fact, you can convert a number from binary system to decimal system, it's very easy. Just say zero B. Uh, I will use a number which is one, uh, zero one zero one in this case, which is actually a number five, right? So I will say enter, you can say we got five. So before the number or before the binary format, if you put zero B, that means your the number is binary format and it will give you the output in decimal format. We can do the same thing for octal, right? So example, let's go the same number. I will say, oh, which function we have to use? Uh, you can guess, right? So for, for binary, we have bin, 
for octal it should be oct right and then we'll give a number which is 25 i will say enter now this is octal format so the octal conversion of 25 is 31 but what is before that it's zero o so o is octal right so in, in the above case we have b that's for binary the same thing can be done with hexadecimal so i will say hex and i want to find 25 so i will say enter you can see it is zero x19 and that's very important which is x here so x is for hexadecimal number right uh, in fact i will just try to find the hex of 10 so x of 10 is a right so if i say enter you can see we got 0 x a you can do the same thing in reverse order you can say 0 x maybe i want to find uh, maybe f so in this case f is 15 so if i say enter you got 15 in fact in the subsequent videos which we are going to see we will be working with different operators like bitwise operator and this video is very important for the bitwise operators make sure you know how to convert a decimal number into binary format and for that let me give you some assignments so what you can do is try to convert not on the python command prompt okay you have to do it by yourself so try to find the binary format of let's say 31 uh, then try to so this is your homework okay so try to find out binary format of 21 uh, then 52 then 65 so these are some numbers you can try it out and then you can also do reverse okay so let's say if i give you binary format uh, i have a number which is 0 b and let's say this is the number i don't know what's the decimal format of this you have to find this as well so in this case it is 410 but how can we know that so in that case you can do this in reverse order as well uh, so the number was 1100111010. So how do you convert this number into decimal system? So first let's try with this number and then you can try with this number by yourself. Now whenever you want to convert a number from binary to decimal, it's very simple. Take start from the last number. So start from the last number and use 2 raised to 0. Second last number, 2 raised to 1. So we have to go for 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3 and 2 raised to 4 right now this so this number belongs to one particular number here so for this one we have 2 raised to 4 for this one we have 2 raised to 3 right now ignore all the zeros here because we don't need them focus only on ones so what you will do is first you will find 2 raised to 0 is what 2 raised to 0 is 1 2 raised to 1 is 2 2 raised to 2 is 4 okay first, first of all we don't need these two numbers right because those are zeros anyway then 2 raised to 3 is 8 2 raised to 4 is 16 and then once you got this number you just need to add them so you, you can see 16 plus 8 which is 24 24 plus 1 we got 25 so first you have to use this format and then you have to add all the values you will get the decimal format the same thing can be done with this you try it out on your machine and let me know if you have done that so uh, that's it everyone that's how you can you can work with different number system in python so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section so that's it everyone Bye-bye.